Welcome. Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Once again, trying to make sense of this crazy Arizona real estate market and trying to understand this weather. I mean, it's raining again, you know, wham, right? You know, if you're from uh, the Pacific Northwest, what's the matter with this guy? He's always complaining about the rain. You see behind me here, um, this is what's going on in the hills behind us. Uh, go up to the Bush Highway towards, go past Lost Dutchman and just drive up there like towards uh, Canyon Lake, Apache Lake, and this is what it looks like. It's blooming like crazy. So if you came down here to go to a spring training game and you're getting rained out, uh, take a drive up in the hills because it's beautiful up there. I'm not I'm not going out there today because it's too wet, uh, but I will be out with my camera this weekend. Um, it's I've never seen it explode like it like it has right now. And speaking of exploding, um Tucson Solar Insider heard there were some snow flurries there a day or so ago. There were <coughs> up in the hills here. This has been the strangest. Is it spring? I mean, this is spring training, right? You know, where you sit out on the lawn, it's 80 degrees. You're watching baseball. You're sitting on a blanket. No, not this year. We've canceled that. <laughs> the games are still going. Well, they, they don't play them in the rain. So it's uh, it's. It's unusual, but you didn't come here to learn about baseball. So today we're waiting. We know the Fed's going to go up a quarter of a point. So uh, they're going to announce what they're doing about two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And this chart here just shows you, you know, we were down here at the bottom, zero interest rates. And then they just went up a quarter, up 50, up 50, up 100. And so, you know, after today, that's going to go up a little bit. They're in a pickle. Um, they have to raise rates to save banking. You know, that's their first mandate is to keep our financial system stable. The second mandate is to control inflation. And so it's a little there between a rock and a hard place. So um, they're going to have to lower rates to keep banks from falling apart. It's a long story. You can see there's plenty of commentaries out there of what's going on. And what we're seeing today is Rates went up a little bit yesterday. They're sitting here at 6.75%. Um, will they move today? They usually move very little after a Fed announcement because they anticipate what they're going to do ahead of time. So by the time they say what they're going to do, everybody says, well, that's what we thought you were going to do. So we already reflected that in the market. Um, will today be different? I don't know. I'm going to watch it like a hawk. Could be interesting. But what's going on in our market is uh, it's not bad out there. Um, this is the Cromford Market Index, and this is showing here the actual index. But look at demand. Demand has gone up slightly. Supply continues to go down. So when you look at the market, that's why the market index is going up, because you still have you know, a respectable amount of sales. It's slow, very slow compared to the hectic pace of which we had prior. But it's, you know, it's, it's going this way. It's not going that way. And what we're seeing is there's closings per month above list price. This got down. The bidding wars were up here. This was nuts, right? 60% of the homes were going above their asking price, no matter what they were asking. Oh, I'll give you more. Um, you know, move out of the way. I'm going to beat all you guys. Up. Oh, I have cash. Um, now it's down to 16%. That's good. It's gone up a little bit. Uh, but, the, but the numbers are not astronomical. Remember these numbers of how much people were bidding on average over list price? They were about 15, 20,000, 40,000. They were just absolutely nuts. So it's good to see that go away. What I am seeing a little bit in that 16% number is people say, well, I'll give you 5,000 more if you'll cr credit me back that 5,000 for my closing costs because people are trying to get some help on their upfront money when buying a home. And that seems to be well accepted. And sometimes a seller will say, well, here's another five grand, um, help you buy your rate down. Now I was talking to Pat yesterday and he goes, you know, with rates being high, that as high as they are right now, it doesn't make any sense to buy a permanent rate reduction because it's, a it's too expensive. And, you know, we expect rates to decline going forward. So why buy the whole term down? He's he's saying that, you know, right now these uh, two-year buy-downs are probably financially 
the best move to make. And we'll go into that in more detail on Friday when we talk to him, um, because he's not going to be prancing around in his St. Patrick's Day uniform. Um, Percent of closings with seller paid concessions. And this is what I was just speaking about earlier. And you can see that we are sitting here looking at 47%. So almost half the homes out there are ponying up some money. They have the equity to do it. We spoke about this yesterday and the day before. They have enough equity in their homes to where they can say, okay, I can assist you. Versus down here, back in 2021, um, the average concession was like three grand. Now the average concession is $9,000. So, But if your home has gone up $200,000 in the past three years, you can pony up that nine grand. That's what they're doing. Now, if you look here on the contract ratio, um, it is increasing. So as as we bemoan the slowness of real estate, it's not bad. Um, it's slow, uh, but it's um, it's kind of a little sweet spot right now. Your sellers, you you'll get your house price if you're pricing it correctly, and if you're willing to negotiate. I talked about the other day. If you look, if you're a seller and you get an offer that you don't like. Don't slam the door. Don't hit reject. Don't take it personally. People are out there floating offers, but they're willing to move just like you are. So don't say, oh, this is ridiculous. Reject it. Just say, well, I don't like it. I think we're far off. Can you communicate that with the agent? And then have your agent call them and go, wow, we're we're quite a ways off here. Um, do you have any wiggle room at all? I can get my seller to make some adjustments here, but you know, right now we're this far apart. We kind of need to get this far apart. And that's how you win the contract. And so that's uh, easier to do when the contract ratio is going up, but it's not through the moon here. Look at that contract ratio of 239.9. Remember, it's just a ratio. And now it's 61.8. So um, you you can't fold your arms as a seller like you used to last year. Pending listings. Well, look at that. They flattened out. And that's homes that have gone under contract. And uh, our available inventory, as you can see here, is not growing still. I'm going to blow this up again for you like I did yesterday. Move this around just a hair. You can see that new listings, which are the blue lines here, um, kind of came up a little bit the past seven days. Sales kind of came up a little bit, and that's the numbers I have down there on the bottom. I'd like to talk about the gap, the gap between new listings and listings under contract. And I just divide the two for giggles, and it's about 97%. So the new listings coming on are getting they're getting gobbled up. That puts a little bit of pricing pressure up. We're up about 3.5% in prices over the last two months, January and February. For prices to come down that Percentage has to get down to the 60s and below. And when that happens, we see prices start to fall. But unless we get a whole boatload of listings, it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. So as we're looking at the interest rates today and trying to make sense of what the Fed's going to do, it's going to be more about what they say they're doing going forward than what they're doing today. Because these banks are in a pickle. In fact, <clears throat> I think it's uh, Europe, uh, England's inflation rate is 10.4%. So they're trying to clamp down over there. <clears throat> so the European banking system is getting hit really hard. That's why Credit Suisse had to sell at a fraction of the value of their bank. And, uh, you know, take some time to take a look at what, what's going on with these with these banks. And, you know, will it be contagious? Because... Uh, the Fed is trying to increase the amount and the availability of money to loan the banks to keep them solvent. And, uh, you know, it's not like real estate where the banks are holding a bunch of real estate. And let's say um, somebody walks away from it. Now that $500,000 house is only worth two hundred and fifty. dollars Immediately, the bank is losing money because they have the house. They have to get rid of it. The bonds that they bought, they don't have to get rid of them until people come in and want to take money out of the bank. Now they've got to sell those bonds and they got to sell them at a lower price than what they bought them. And in the world of Twitter, it's a lot easier to create bank runs right now because the information is so 
instant. Oop, get over to blah, 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 bank, get your money out. Things look bad. And they'll have a bank run. When they have a bank run, they have to start selling these bonds at a lower price that they paid for them because nobody's going to want to pay that price because they they were getting, they bought them when rates were like, uh, you know, 3.5%. Now they're five. So they're going, they're going to lose that margin. They're going to lose money. And that's what happened. That's what happened to that one bank. So, and they all do that. When you deposit your money in the bank, it doesn't say, this is Rick's money. It's sitting over here. It, they do stuff with it. So they invest it. <clears throat> now you've got businesses because of the cost of money going up, pulling back and saying, well, I don't think we're going to expand this year. We're going to wait. And that's actually what the central bank is trying to do. They're trying to slow down economic activ activity to bring inflation down. We talk a lot about Barry Habib talking about uh, where the inflation numbers are probably going to show up in May. And he thinks on May 10th uh, that rates are going to come down significantly. That's 60 days out from today, not quite 60 days, but uh, uh, in the re real estate world, all eyes are on that. So we want to see what's going to go on. So expect uh, around 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, we'll hear something from uh, the Fed chairman and uh, the markets will react. And it's not probably not going to have much of an impact on the real estate. Sales kind of went down a little bit, according to the Crawford market report. Uh, over the jitters of the banking situation. But you can see that our contracts are still rolling about 3,100. You know, they were about 4,400 every seven days back when things were just flying. And it was weird. Every week I'd look and I'd go, well, we got 4,000 new listings, 4,000 sales, 4,100 listings, 4,100 sales. It just continued that for a good year. So um, I'm glad that part's gone. I'm glad we're not out there standing in front of a house with 30 other people. And I hope we don't get there. And I'm kind of conflicted about getting rates uh, much lower because I don't want the housing market to reignite. And I'm not the Fed chairman. I don't see the numbers. Um, so I just don't want to see real estate take off again. I want it to stay good for sellers and good for buyers and have it calm down and stay there for a long period of time, at that point, you'll start reaching some affordability, which right now is, is out of sight. And so we just need time and patience and stability. Um, something that the federal government doesn't tend to deliver that much. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching. We'll tune in tomorrow, tomorrow night at six o'clock when I'm with uh, Pat and the dynamic duo of Jackie and Ruby. We will of course be recapping what we saw take place with the central bank until then have a great day. Stay inside. It's too wet.